player, and, and I'm talking specifically about uh, Terrence Mann, just his growth and development uh, this year, but more specifically since uh, All-Star break, man. What kind of conversations are you having with that kid to really uh, get him fired up and, and producing like he's been producing? Uh, I mean, that honestly comes from T-Man. Um, you know, T-Man's desire, T-Man's, um, you know, will to want to get better and um, his determination to get better. Um, that's where it comes from. I mean, we're here to help him along the way, but um, T-Man's special. Um, you know, I tell him time after time and we have these conversations. He's, he's special. Um, and, um, you know, he uses his resources. He uses the people around him. Um, you know, when he, when he needs it, but again, you know, we, uh, you know, we, I'm not the only one Clippers definitely saw something in him, and, um, you know, he's, he's blossoming. Thanks Pete. We'll go to Farbad. Hey PG. Um, you know, one of my favorite things that I see a lot of times post game is you and Reggie hyping each other up all the time, whenever it's your time to speak on the post game. Can you just talk about your your friendship with Reggie? How did that come to be? Uh, what's it like off the basketball court as well? Um, I mean, we got a friendship through our agent. That's how we became friends. Um, and then, you know, it just developed over that time. Um, you know, since he's been in the league, um, you know, I, I've, you know, basically took him under my wing uh, uh, since he's been in the league. And, and we've just been homies and, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's just a great relationship, you know. That's my guy. Um, we hang out. We have a, a group um, with about four or five of us that we text every day. We talk mess every day. We hang. We uh, we joke. You know, we just have a good time. And, um, you know, it's for him, it's, it's, it's great. But for me as well, it's, it's awesome to have someone that you're familiar with and you're close with on the team. There... Oh, I'm sorry, Farbot. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was say, are there anything outside of basketball that you guys are competitive with each other, whether it's like war zone, anything outside of basketball? Uh, I mean, you know, we, like I said, with, with the friends um, and the whole group that we're, we're friends with, um, you know, it's, it's two of my boys or three of my boys I'm close with, and Reg and myself. Um, you know, we all hang when we can. Um, but, you know, we're competitive with everything, whether it's video games, bowling, um, you know, shooting games. I mean, we, we, you know, you name it, we, we go compete and um, have a good time. You know, it's always a great time that comes out of it, but we always compete against each other. All right. Now we'll go to law. That game, I felt like it was a tale of two halves. Uh, teams both got up and down a little bit in the first half. Came to a screeching halt in the second half. Uh, you guys didn't allow any fast break points for the whole game. Uh, how did you guys kind of keep your poise and kind of control the game after halftime when the whistle started going? Uh, well, I mean, that was just a game plan. They're uh, one of the best teams, if not the best team in transition. Um, they they get a lot of fast break opportunities and score out of those. So um, that was a big emphasis coming into tonight, just limit their transition. Um, we kept them out of it and forced them to play in our half-court defense. Go to Andrew. Hey, Paul, uh, Lawrence had talked to us earlier and said that, you know, Rondo's two championships uh, bring so much credibility to what he to his, to his credentials uh, into this locker room. I'm curious, you know, with you and Kawhi obviously holding so much credibility in this locker room too, like how do you two plan on like opening up Rondo to say, hey, this is your space too, like whatever you want to say, take over. Like how do you guys create room for him as a new guy with a lot of credibility to like leave his own mark? I mean, <clears throat> for me, I mean, he's, you know, he, he's a leader um, by nature and he's a leader coming in into this team um, as is. So it's, um, you know, it's it's almost, you know, natural, it's organic. Um, we know what he stands for. We know what he stands for. We know what he's about. Um, there's no egos, um, you know, so we want everything that he brings. Um, I mean, it's, it's never been a situation where, it's you know my team or Kawhi feels is his team like we're in this to do this together and, and build something together and and you know we're here to win together so uh same thing goes with uh Rondo um 
you know, this this team is his, regardless if he's played a game yet or not. Um, he's a part of this team and uh, he's a big piece of this team. And, um, you know, it's, it's just respect. You know, we got a lot of respect for him uh, when he's been on other teams and his career. And, um, you know, it's, it's continued respect even more so with him being on our side. Looks like we've got two hands left, so we'll go with uh, Justin Russo. Hey, PG. Uh, before the game, Coach said that one of the key words for the rest of the season is mindset. You guys are riding a five-game winning streak, getting a win like this tonight. How would you evaluate the team's overall mindset right now? Uh, I think we're pretty locked in. Uh, we're a pretty, uh, you know, tunnel vision team right now. We know what the, uh, the goal is, is to get better each game. Um, we're not looking ahead. We're taking this um, one game at a time, uh, to be honest. And we've just been locking in on these one games. Um, <clears throat> that's just what it comes down to. Uh, we want to build. We want to get better. We want to work on us. And, um, you know, that's that's just how we've been approaching it. Thanks. And then we'll close out with Kahari. Hey, Paul. Uh, obviously, uh, you've been working on, um, uh, on your playmaking ability this whole season. And uh, and now now Rondo's here. Now, how, how do you feel like he he'll contribute to your uh, playmaking ability? And also, how do you feel like he'll change the trajectory of you guys' uh, offense? Uh, well, my assists will go down, but my scoring will probably go up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, nah, I mean, you know, I, I just you know, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to just learning from him. I'm looking forward to being a student around him. Um, you know, he's one of the most, uh, he's got one of the, the, the most beautiful basketball minds. Um, so I'm just looking forward to learning from him um, and going to war with him. Um, and, you know, I think it just helped, you know, have an opportunity to, to, to be one of the prime ball handlers on this team. Um, it's just going to help me down the road. And it honestly just evolved my game to open my game up to see the floor and see, you know, read teammates better. Um you know, so that's not going to change, but, you know, I'm just looking forward to what Rondo brings um, and, you know, his ability to play, make his ability to uh, find guys um, and, and just pick apart defenses. Um, you know, it definitely will help, you know, getting in a rhythm and, and, you know, getting easy opportunities. Thanks, Paul. That's all the time we got for you tonight. Have a great night. Appreciate it. Basketball minds. Um, so I'm just looking forward to learning from him um, and going to war with him. Um, and, you know, I think it just helped, you know, have an opportunity to, to, to be one of the prime ball handlers on this team. Um, it's just going to help me down the road. And it honestly just evolved my game, to open my game up to see the floor and see, you know, read teammates better. Um, you know, so that's not going to change. But, you know, I'm just looking forward to what Rondo brings um, and, you know, his ability to play make, his ability to uh, find guys um, and, and just pick apart defenses. Um, you know, it definitely will help, you know, getting in a rhythm and, and, you know, getting easy opportunities.